In case you didn't know, there are actually two versions of WP Forms, the paid version and a free version called WP Forms Lite. But even though there's no better price than free 99, you might be wondering if it's worth it to take the plunge and get a paid license instead. So in today's video, we're going to walk through a complete comparison between the two versions so you can decide which one is right for you. I'm Daisy with WP Forms, and before we get started, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with all of our latest tips and tricks for WordPress. Now let's get started. So first things first, both WP Forms Lite and the paid version share the same drag and drop form builder, so no matter which version you go with, the plugin will work in the same way. There are no usage limits in either version, so you can make an unlimited number of forms and receive an unlimited number of responses from your customers. The only limits you might run into would be from your hosting company if they have limits on things like storage space. Now, although the way the form builder works is exactly the same in both versions, the form fields you can use are going to be a little bit different. In WP Forms Lite, you'll have access to the standard field section and a few select options in the payment field section. With these fields, you can easily create things like a simple contact form, basic order forms, and accept payments through Stripe, add a GDPR agreement to any form if you're located in the EU, and set up anti-spam protection with CAPTCHAs, email block lists, and more. Once you upgrade to a paid license, you'll get access to the fields in the Fancy Fields section, which includes popular fields like phone number and address fields, file uploads, calculations, page breaks, signature fields, and more. In addition to the different fields you have access to, a huge difference between WP Forms Lite and Pro is having access to conditional logic. Conditional logic allows you to show or hide a field in your form depending on a user's input. So for example, if you have a question like, how did you hear about us, and you give the other user an option to select, something like other, then you can have a text field appear where the user can manually write in their answer. You can use conditional logic in other ways too, like processing payments only if certain conditions are met, filtering survey questions according to demographic questions, and get more control over when marketing integrations should be triggered and when they shouldn't. With the WP Forms Pro license, you can use conditional logic to hide form fields that aren't immediately needed and reveal them when necessary. That way your customers won't have to deal with forms that are cluttered with fields that don't apply to them. Two other big differences between WP Forms Lite and WP Forms Pro are email notifications and entry storage. Both versions of the plugin will send notification emails when a form is submitted, but WP Forms Pro gives you some additional options that you won't find in WP Forms Lite. With both versions, you can CC recipients on one notification and set up confirmation messages upon submission, but the Pro version will allow you to set up multiple notifications for a single form, allow you to clone notifications to save you some time, enable notifications when a user abandons your form before they get a chance to submit it, and apply conditional logic to notifications. Regarding entry storage, entries are stored in your WordPress database and are accessible from your dashboard when using WP Forms Pro. You can also store uploaded files in your WordPress media library. But with WP Forms Lite, entries are not stored locally and only exist in the email notification that is sent when a form is submitted. You do have the option of enabling a feature called Lite Connect, which will store and encrypt any new form submissions. These entries will be restored when you upgrade to a WP Forms Pro license. We have a more in-depth video that explains where WP Forms data goes when a form is submitted. You can find that link in the video description below. Next up are form templates. Both versions come with over 2,000 pre-made templates that you can access from the form builder. Some templates will require you to install and activate an add-on that is only available with a paid license. Some of these include our blog post submission templates, custom user registration and login forms, custom calculation templates, and more. Templates can save you a lot of time and work, but regardless, the drag and drop form builder makes it easy to get up and running quickly if you want to build a form from scratch. We touched on it briefly before, but let's talk payment options. Both WP Forms Lite and WP Forms Pro allow you to accept credit card payments via Stripe. However, if you use WP Forms Lite, 
There is a 3% per transaction fee on top of the regular Stripe fees. If you upgrade to WP Forms Pro, then the 3% fee is removed. But in addition to Stripe, WP Forms Pro also allows you to collect payments through other popular services like PayPal, Square, and Authorize.net. Regardless of the version, both Lite and Pro users will have access to the Payments page, which lets you track payments you've collected through your forms. Now let's talk about publishing your form. Both WP Forms Lite and Pro make it super easy to embed forms to a page or a post using the Embed Wizard in the Form Builder, or you can use the Classic Editor, Short Codes, or the Block Editor to make it happen. But WP Forms offers three additional options that you won't get with the free version. Conversational Forms, Form Pages, and Lead Forms. Conversational Forms will show form questions one at a time on a form's own dedicated page and is a great type form alternative. The Form Pages add-on allows you to publish any form on its own dedicated landing page, and best of all, you don't need to write any code to set this up. Last but not least are Lead Forms. Lead forms are similar to conversational forms, but these can be embedded on any page or post on your WordPress site, allowing you to keep your visitor on your page for as long as possible. Now, WP Forms is big on helping you get more leads for your WordPress site, and one way we do that is by offering support for many popular email marketing platforms. Both WP Forms Lite and Pro allow you to integrate your contact forms with Constant Contact, but WP Forms offers additional options with platforms like MailChimp, Aweber, GetResponse, Drip, Brevo, and more. These integrations will help you do all sorts of things, like automatically adding users to your mailing list once they submit a form, adding them to your leads list, update their contact information, and more. In addition to email marketing platforms, WP Forms also connects to various services. WP Forms Lite and Pro both connect to Uncanny Automator to help you send form submissions to other plugins automatically, and WP Forms Pro gives you access to Zapier, which will help you set up your own custom connection to over 7,000 third-party services. With so many features available across both versions of the plugin, it's safe to assume that you're probably going to be reaching out to support at some point or another with a question or concern. When using WP Forms Lite, you'll get support in the WP Forms Lite support forum on WordPress.org, and you can always check out our huge documentation library on WPForms.com. But pro users can open up a support ticket right from within their account. Overall, WP Forms is the better bang for your buck as it gives you access to tons of fields, add-ons, and integrations, over 2,000 templates, extra ways to publish and display your forms, and faster access to customer support. WP Forms also comes with a 14-day money-back guarantee, so if you decide to give it a try and decide it's not the right fit for you, you can request a refund and get your money back, no questions asked. But if you still want access to the most powerful and user-friendly contact form builder for WordPress, then you can't go wrong with the free version. Let us know in the comments which version you're going with and what your favorite features are. I'm Daisy with WP Forms. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.